mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Snow White and the Fable of Beauty, Jealousy and Redemption. A fairy tale story for a fairy tale setting. The Kremer Bridge is history brought to life. Finished in 1325, it's one of Erfurt's best known landmarks. Lined with cafes, antique shops and artisan studios, the bridge is not just a river crossing, it's also the perfect place to while away an afternoon. The Kremer Bridge was once part of the Via Regia, a medieval trade route that saw Erfurt's rise to a thriving merchant centre. Erfurt's Renaissance buildings also testify to the city's former wealth and glory, like the beautifully restored House of the Red Ox, now home to a modern art venue and the stately ornate House of the White Hearth, built in 1584. Another echo of the past, the old synagogue, whose oldest sections date back to the 11th century. The synagogue was used for worship until 1349, when a pogrom wiped out Erfurt's first Jewish community. Afterwards, it served as a warehouse, pub and dance hall. Today, it's home to an exhibition on Jewish life in Erfurt, which opened in 2009. The exhibition features a trove of medieval treasures, objects buried under a wall by a Jewish merchant shortly before he was murdered in the pogrom of the 14th century. They were discovered in 1998 during an archaeological excavation. Alongside Heidelberg and Cologne, Erfurt is one of the oldest college towns in Germany. The university was founded in 1389. The main building is the Collegium Maios. Careful restoration returned the late Gothic entrance portal to its former glory. Martin Luther was a student here in the 16th century. Erfurt is also where he began his career. In 1505, Luther entered the Augustinian monastery. Two years later, he was ordained as a priest. An exhibition in the monastery's first floor is dedicated to the man who went on to become a leader of the Protestant Reformation. Luther studied and worked in a small monastic cell. The monks slept in the Great Hall, which now houses a valuable Reformation library. A bombing raid in the waning months of World War II killed 267 people who had taken shelter in the cellar. Every Friday, a prayer service in the memory of victims of war and violence is held in the cellar. With its wealth of churches, the city became known as the Rome of Turingen. The Erfurt Cathedral is the oldest and most important of the historic church buildings. Its earliest sections are in the Romanesque style but the rest of the building is Gothic in architecture. Among its many rare objects and furnishings are a bronze candelabra and an altar of the Madonna, both from the 12th century. Today the cathedral and the neighbouring church of St Severus are among the most visible landmarks of the city.